Hey what's going on guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you a squad builder from the Premier League that costs me around 150k um, but you can change this team a lot um, you can change the players around I'll basically be telling you a few different players that you could swap to uh, make the team a bit less expensive or a bit more expensive um, if you want to do so so I'll jump straight into the team as you can see in goal we have got Joe Hart um, really solid goalkeeper. I think this is not his upgraded card. I'll have to get his upgraded card. I think his 84 rated is his, his next card. That's not too many coins more. Um, but as you can see here, he's six foot five, which I didn't actually realise this guy was that tall. Um, but he's got that acrobatic save technique as well, um, which is very useful. You know, he's going to be making a lot of camera saves. Um, so yeah, really, really good, solid uh, goalkeeper. Uh, moving on to centre backs, I have got Gary Cahill and Chris Smalling, um, the two. England centre backs. Oh, I think I've got an all. Oh yeah, I've got an all England uh, defence actually. I only just realised that actually. Um, I've no idea why. But as you can see, I've got Chris Smalling here. Uh, 76 pace, really good, really fast defender. Um, 85 defending and 82 physical as well. And he's uh, very tall, so you know he's going to be winning everything in the air, which is very useful. Same with Gary Cahill here. As you can see, he's not as fast as Chris Smalling, but a very good centre back nevertheless. Um, 86 defending, 76 physical, uh, and he's also six foot four. So you know, these two centre backs here, they're going to basically win everything in the air, which is very useful. Um, basically, what you'd want from your centre backs in a team. Moving on to my right backs and left backs, I have got the two Spurs players, Danny Rose left back and Kyle Walker right back. Um, as you can see, they're very fast players. Uh, Danny Rose, 82 pace. Um, good defending stats as well and then there's Kyle Walker here one of the fastest right backs in the, the Premier League after Bellerin you could get Bellerin um, if you want to go for someone a bit more quick um, if you want to splash the coins out a bit more um, as for like the centre backs as well you know you could change it with Otamendi and uh, company those centre backs but to be honest this defence has been really solid for me so far I've conceded very few goals um, and I haven't lost a game actually with this team yet so you know you know what they say don't change your winning team um, so yeah, that's exactly what I've done. As for my centre midfielders, I have got Yaya Toure right in the middle. So I decided to stick the uh, the big guy right in the middle. So he he wins everything. You know, he's really tall. This guy as well, six foot two. Um, so he's going to win all the headers in the middle. He's going to make tackles. He's a very strong player. Um, that's which is basically why I put him in right in the centre. You know, just to break up play and uh, control the midfield basically. And then on the right and left side, I have put. Jordan Henderson in form and Ramirez you know very fast players um, I mean there's Henderson he's got decent pace 75 pace but really good all round stats here as you can see his lowest stat is his defending which is 72 which is very good so really well all rounded player 6 foot as well um, and as for Ramirez as you know 88 pace very fast uh, centre midfielder and uh, combine that with your defending and physical stats you know he's a very solid player in the middle of the park um, he's really good. To, they're really good players to play off of Yaya Toure because um, they're pretty, pretty quick. And uh, yeah, really good all-round midfield in my opinion. And then moving on to my strike force and my centre attacking midfielder, I have got Ross Barkley in Cam. His in-form card, as you can see here, really good all-rounded stats. Uh, he's pretty quick as well. This guy feels very fast on the ball. I think that's probably because of his dribbling. Um, you know, he can just sort of breeze round players. Uh, which is very useful because of that 84 dribbling as you can see uh, he's also got a really good long shot this guy and a uh, decent passing as well and um, it also helps that he's six foot two you know he's going to win a lot of headers which is very good this is a very tall team actually one of the tallest teams I've played with um, which is definitely a good a good thing as you can see 78 physical as well so he's very strong and he's also got that five star weak foot um, which is very good so really good player in my opinion gets me a lot of assists and also gets me quite a few goals as well. Um, and then as for my strikers, I have got Inform Martial. I think this is his first Inform card. Um, but I think he usually comes as a cam, but I've converted him to a striker. Um, and he's been really good for me so far. You know, this guy feels rapid on the ball. Uh, his dribbling just feels insane. And um, his shooting as well, very good. He's, got, he's very good at finishing, in my opinion. Um, and he's also pretty strong, you know, 73 physical, which is pretty decent. He's also got that high attacking work rate, so you know he's going to be making a lot of runs. Uh, you can get him behind the defence with this guy a lot, and he only costs 36k. Um, if you can't afford any of these strikers, I would go with someone like Jamie Vardy. 
Um, that's a player that I've always used from the Premier League and has always been really good for me. A uh, very similar player to this guy, you know, in that he's fast. Uh, he's very good at finishing. Um, so, yeah, definitely try and use Jamie Vardy um, if you can't afford any of these players. And also, Agalo, as you can see here, this is his team of the season card. A really good player. As you can see, he's not got the quickest of pace, um, but, you know, in-game, I'd say this guy feels very fast, you know. Like, I think his dribbling um, and his acceleration definitely makes him feel a lot quicker. I think in his in-game stats, he's got like 90 acceleration, I think, which definitely has a, you know, a huge part to play, obviously, in um, in his game. Because, you know, he that initial burst of pace really, like, makes him feel a lot quicker, in my opinion. And then he's also got that 85 shooting, which is very useful, you know. He's going to finish everything, basically, inside the box, um, as well as 80 physical, so he can hold players off. A uh, really good all round striker in my opinion. So yeah, that's the team guys. Um, I don't actually change the player instructions at all just because, you know, when I first started using this team, um, they won me like basically every game. So, you know, I haven't changed a winning team, uh, which is probably a good move in my opinion. Um, so yeah, that's the team. Hope you enjoyed. Remember to leave a like if you did and subscribe if you're new around here. And I will see you in the next video.